you can create a maintenance license for your staff with specific permissions by tapping Configuration on the main menu. Make sure the master code matches the code of the OCS Smart Locks in your facility. Tapping Generate Maintenance License will allow you to check what actions this license holder will be allowed to do with the locks in your facility. Tap Accept and it will save the license. The location of the file will vary depending on what kind of mobile device you are using. Once you have created a maintenance license, you will need to share it with your staff member. Locate the new license you made in your device's files and tap the Share function. We recommend using email to share the license file. Once the staff member has downloaded the file, they will need to load the license into the OCS Smart Maintenance app. The staff member will follow the same steps to upload their personal license to the maintenance app as the manager did in a previous video. When they open the app for the first time, it will automatically prompt them to load the license from their files. You cannot change the staff member's permissions in real time, so if you need to update their permissions, they will need to load a whole new license. You can generate a user permit for your clients by tapping Generate Permits from the main menu. Here you can specify if the locker will be a free or dedicated type lock. In free mode, you need to specify how many lockers they are allowed to use with this license, with three being the maximum amount they can use. In dedicated mode, you need to specify how many locks they are allowed to use, with six being the maximum. You will also need to assign a user code and which lockers they will have access to. Keep in mind, the locks you assign them must also have been configured to be dedicated type locks during the configuration process. Once the permissions have been selected, you can either generate a QR code for the customer to scan with the Ojemar user app, or you can generate a file that will be saved to your device and shared with a client via email. The location of the permit file will vary depending on what kind of mobile device you are using. Thank you for watching, and if you need further assistance, please contact us.